This film is on how to collect, store and transport the stool specimen collected from cases of acute flaccid paralysis. Acute flaccid paralysis is defined as sudden onset of weakness and floppiness in any part of the body in a child less than 15 years of age or paralysis in a person of any age in whom polio is suspected. Collect two stool specimens from the AFP cases at a minimum interval of 24 hours. This is done to improve the chances for the detection of the polio virus which may be shed intermittently. The excretion of polio virus diminishes rapidly after 14 days, but because a small proportion of cases can still excrete virus for several weeks following paralysis onset, stool specimens should be collected from late reported cases for up to 60 days after paralysis onset. AFP cases can be reported up to 6 months from the date of paralysis onset. Material required for stool specimen collection clean plastic screw cap container should be used. It is not essential to have a sterilized container, labels, water-resistant indelible pen, cello tape, ziplock bag, disposable bag, a laboratory request form and a clean sheet of paper before collection of any stool specimen using a water-resistant indelible pen. Label the specimen container with name, epid number and specimen number and put a cello tape over the label. Try always to collect fresh stool from the child's diaper or get the child to defecate onto a clean paper. Use the spoon attached to the cap to get the stool. Collect the volume of stool about the size of one adult thumb or about 8 grams. Do not fill container up to the brim. Do not soil the rim of the container. If container gets soiled, wipe it with absorbent cotton. After collection, immediately place the container in the plastic ziplock bag and then in the stool shipment carrier having four frozen ice packs. Adequate stool. Two stool specimens should be collected within 14 days of paralysis onset and at least 24 hours apart. Each specimen must be of adequate volume and arrive at a WHO accredited laboratory in a good condition. That is, no desiccation, no leakage with adequate documentation and the evidence that cold chain was maintained. The specimen should be transported under cold chain at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Plan for the specimens to arrive at the laboratory within 72 hours of dispatch. If this is not possible, the specimens must be kept in deep freezer at minus 20 degrees Celsius. If a cold chain is not properly maintained, polio virus will not survive in the stool specimen. Avoid storing specimens in refrigerators, cold boxes or vaccine carriers that are used for vaccines or other medicines. If this is unavoidable, be sure to seal the specimen in 2-3 to three layers of plastic bag and carefully separate them from the vaccines or other medicines. For transporting specimens, a separate stool shipment carrier should be used and labeled for stool specimen shipment. Contaminated vaccine carriers and ice packs can be disinfected with a solution of 1 part of bleaching powder to 10 parts of water or 1% sodium hypochlorite solution for a contact period of at least half an hour. Data entry should be done carefully ensuring that the data entered in the CIF, LRF and the specimen container matches. When arrangements have been made for shipment, wipe the specimen containers with absorbent materials such as cotton wool to clean the leaked stool if any. Seal them in a plastic ziplock bag and place them in a shipment carrier with frozen ice packs. Place the laboratory request form in an envelope and close it in a separate plastic bag and place it in the shipment carrier or should be hand carried. Do not wrap the forms around the specimens. Send the specimens by fastest mode reliable means of transport. Quality sample collection, storage and shipment is important for timely detection of polio virus.